All right, guys, so we've just arrived at the London Card Show, and as you can see, it's absolutely heaving right now. So we're going to try and find the best cards to show you guys today, and let's get straight into it. All right, so we're here with Trader Prometheus, Max Pokemon at the Famous Bell Stand, starting off with some RCS boxes, a Celestial Storm Booster box for £700. The Dalugia from Plasma Gale, some gold stars, PSA 8 and 7, the gold star Raikou, PSA 9, this is a really clear display case. Get the Giratina, Ultra Promo, gold star Trico, PSA 8, then we get the Giratina from Dragon Blast, I believe. There's some really cool black and white and gold stars. Moving down, we got some more stuff. Dragons Exalted, Art Set, EX Deoxys, Heavy, probably. Pokemon Center, Squirtle, there you go, the business card, black and white base. CP4, I think. Let's take a look at some of the singles. A lot of XY and uh, older stuff. Wow, okay, so starting off strong already. Let's take a look at what they got. Some XY Sun and Moon Tin promo there. Let's keep looking. Some nice evolutions. Team Rocket Returns, I believe. Rocket Scyther EX. Nice EX era stuff. Prime cards. XY. Zoom in a bit on those for you guys. That Lucario is really, really cool to me. Level X. EX Dragon Reverses. Some more Japanese stuff. Let's take a look. We've got some more Japanese stuff here. Yeah, I think he is. He is. Then let's take a look at the top bit. Bubble Mew obviously getting really popular at the moment. Gyarados from Breakpoint. Oh, we got that Melotic Shiny. I got that in my recent PSA return, actually. Some nice black and white texture cards. Team Plasma. Gold Pikachu. Got the Latias SAR from Paradise Dragona. Got some nice EX error versus here. EX Deoxys. Team Rocket Returns. Yeah, some trying or no trying from the thing that's sitting at about 120, I think. Yeah, trying to go up. You'd probably on. Yeah, that's I want to try and grab it. It's hand, but it's it's tricky. Very cool. Yeah. EX era reverses. So I'm guessing. Alright, so we're here with got him here, another Discord gang member. We got that Alakazam UR card. PSA 10, really nice. A lot of Japanese stuff. The One Piece alt leader from PSA magazine. Some more slabs here. Charizard from Advent of RCS PSA 10. So a lot of Gen 4 stuff I'm seeing. Altaria EX from Awakening Psychic King XY10. Archie's Ace in the whole PSA 10. Wow, that's only 75 pounds. These trainer cards are really dropped. If you look at the texture here, it's actually a really underrated card. Then we got some sealed stuff. Uh, we got some evolving skies actually. So some sealed English packs, some 151. Then some more Japanese stuff. Paradigm trigger, lost abyss. I've actually seen some stuff that I want. So let's take a look. We get some ARs to start off. But I was more interested in the 151, which I saw, so I'm going to take a look. Okay, so get the Dash Bun SAR. I'll probably pick that up, 1150. Because I need it. As you guys know, I'm trying to collect all the SAR cards. We got some Venusaur Full Arts from 151. I'm missing all of these, so I'm having to think about that. ARs I've got, and then we've got some Master Balls as well. Which is actually really tempting me because uh, I do want to make some progress on my 151 binder set. Wow, okay, that is cheap. That is really cheap, so I might pick it up, guys. And let's take a quick look at the vintage. We got some Gengars from Fossil. 
Wow, this is a really nice binder. We've got some Core Core Shining Muse. The selection here is insane. We've got some gold stars. Wow. Really, really cool. Really, really cool stall. Gyarados, you are from Rage of the Broken Heavens. Got some Arceus with the patterns from the Dex and Advent of Arceus. Some really cool things in the top loader binder here. But we're gonna go back to this. Alright, so I'm here with Last Chansey, and this is probably the biggest heat I've seen so far. You got the EV promo fan club and you've got all of these shining cards shining charizard psa 6 play umbreon 10,000. well this is this is probably going to be the thumbnail guys then we got the masaki cards masaki graded cards really most of this is like vintage japanese high-end stuff we got the karen's umbreon there let me move over a little bit. Got some very nice singles here. Game Boy Lugia promo, Misaki card. Some shinings. Don't usually see raw shinings, so that's really, really cool. Let me show you guys the rest. But look at this. Wow. Really, really cool. Then we got some like E series hollows. We're gonna move towards older times again. So we got some base hollows. Really nice display case as well, because I get to show you guys some neo hollows. Really nice. Look at all those hollows showing up on the camera. My slabs being stocked. Snap Pikachu, Gengar from Neo 4, I think. So yeah. So check them out, guys. Last Chansey, really, really good stall. Best one so far, but I might be saying that quite a few times. All right, so here with Famous Burrell. Here we go. So we got some vintage base, black and white XY. Famous Girl have an online store as well, guys, and they do box breaks every weekend, so get involved if you're interested. <laughs> Got some vintage stuff here. Got that Infernape, which I have in PSA 10. Let's see the rest. Specific Pikachus at the back. Very nice. Some signatures now. Uh, Pikachu SAR PSA 10. Got that Verizion from Black and White 2, I think. PSA 10. Got the Charizard SIR PSA 10. So really, really hot at the moment in English. Got some gold stars. Oh, interesting. Got the Alakazam UR PSA 10 for 350. Modern Japanese chases here, including that Pikachu. Pikachu SAR, Jasmine's Gaze. Melotic as well. Very, very nice. Then some English 151 singles. Less interested in. The rest of them are. Where are we going? Oh yeah, you still got some Japanese stuff here. Oh, I've lost that. There's loads of Jasmine somewhere. Oh, uh, more? The full art one. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm alright with that. Yeah. Alright, so we've got Lonnie and Connect so table well. here. <laughs> Starting off with the Bubble Mew, 155, <laughs> Bangkok <laughs> Pikachu. Not yet, but a lot I'm of new play. Gold Star Raw it's cards, so I'm looking at the... Around, so. No Umbreon. We but the Charizard for 1300, Legendary Collection Reverse, some Sword and Shield Alt Arts here, all nicely priced up. Lugia from Neo Genesis, first edition Shadowless Blastoise. Then we're going to take a look at the rest. So we've got some base stars here. 
Yeah. Last choice, Shadowless Zard, some Shining cards. PSA 7, PSA 9 English. Then we got the big boys, the Gold Stars. Look at that, Torchic, BGS 8.5. Oh, Sweet Kuhn PSA 9. Then we got some first at base. I mean, the card selection at this show is crazy so far. So we found some big Japanese stuff with Poker 360 here. Starting off with some sealed 151. Just remember, this stuff is getting reprinted. But then we do have the Supercharged Breaker Pikachu. Incandescent Arcana 34, Paradigm Trigger 38. That, that is actually insanely cheap. If you think about the fact that retail price is like 27, 28 pounds. Scarlet EX 29, Violet 34, Black Flame 32, Future Flash 27. Oh my god, this is just so cheap at the moment. If you even look at these like Sword and Shield lists here, really not bad. Um, then you got some loose packs here and some really cool decks. Umbreon Tag Team deck, this is really cool because you don't see it very often. Show you all of this, but some nice base set stuff. Taking a look just at the selection. There's a whole row of binders, but this one interests me. So you got some Gen 4 Hollows. Huge amount and really, really cheap. When you consider the fact that packs are like 90 to 150 pounds, that Infernape. I think it's an Arita drawing, but look at that. Arita Infernape. So many now. Ooh, okay, so we got some Gen 4 shinies as well, probably in plate condition. Got the Gold Star Celebi. Some more Legend cards. Cresselia and Dark Rise, some Victory Medals. So these are relatively lower pop to all the modern stuff you see. Some Black and White File Eevees. Got the Gyarados UR from Rage of the Broken Heavens for £58. We're probably not in the right condition. Got some Sun and Moon Alt Arts. I'm just checking the prices myself because I need some of these. This one probably a bit too much for me. Let's see. Jigglypuff Low Pony, Sword and Shield Alt Arts, which I've completed. Some Eevee Heroes. Then we get these interesting ones. 80 for that one. Greninja SARs amongst the top Scarlet and Violet cards, 108 pounds for those. Okay, so we got in, there's a huge staff selection, but I'm actually interested in these. So let's take a look. So we've got the starters, Bulbasaur for 26. Sorry. Let's take a look at the rest. I do need some of these, so I might pick some up now while I can. Some of the cheaper ones. Let's take a look. Master Balls for days. Huh? Kind of want to pick up a good high tier one. All right, guys, so we're trading away these for a hundred pounds in value. So they're like sequential sets, but unfortunately they ended as nines with these squirt tools. And I'm going to get some master balls that I need for it. Got the Mewtwo from Shining Legends in PSA 10, English and Japanese. But then we got some really cool Art Academy cards. So things that you don't see very often, as you guys can see. So nice to see these Art Academy cards. I think the winners got 100 copies of each card. So they're really, really difficult to find and you've got that info. That one at the back is probably my favorite. Then let's take a look at the rest. We've got a limited edition. Uh, I think X Collection 3DS and then the actual Art Academy game. So yeah, really, really cool cards. Okay, so we're here with Japan Cards World. So let's take a look at the selection. Got some Crimson here for £40. Lost the best from the Pokemon Center. It still shrinks for £75. Some Jet Black guys. Then we've got some English cards actually, which is really interesting. English cards. Charizard Rainbow, let's take a look. A lot of new English cards, because they do specialize in Japanese cards. Let's take a look at the Japanese binder. 
Let's see what we got. <laughs> got the Zard SIR from Obsidian Flames here. Oh yeah, got some 151 singles as well. 151 English is still going strong at the moment. But let's take a look at the Japanese stuff. Because uh, that's where our interest mainly lies. So we got some nice SRs, GXs, some Terraform, Scarlet and Violet. I'm mainly looking at SARs that I'm still missing and Master Balls today. Plus if we can see a Gold Star that we're missing. So let's take a look at this as well. So this is like an SAR binder potentially. With the Iron Crown, the Gardevoir. Got all of those. Let's take a look at the rest. Some SRs, some classic collection. Tech to Pikachu, some 151. Okay, so this is where it gets interesting. Uh, so we've got the big three chain there. Got some SRs. Lugia. Oh, Chinese Lugia. I think this is traditional Chinese Lugia. Some more Chinese cards. Okay, so we got some more loose packs. Here's some V Star Universe, Paradise Dragona. Loose packs, Supercharged Breaker. Got some some booster bundles, and then some more singles here, some SARs. Missing some of those, actually. Take a look there, you got the Pikachu SAR and the Gold Pikachu from uh, Supercharged Breaker. Jasmine SAR. Uh, Matthias. These are the ones that draw the eye. Then we got some 151 singles. Fortunately, I have all of these, but then we got some stuff that I might be missing. Some SRs. Some more trainer SRs. Six pounds, probably look at that. Then some more ARs. Then we got some Master Balls. Let's see if there's any cheap, cheap Master Balls. Thirteen. Let's take a look at the Pikachu SIR in person. Really, really nice card. Thank you. All right, guys, so we are back with pricey collectibles here. And actually, they don't have many people at their stall. So let's take a look. I did show you guys these at the Ken card show a bit. Still a huge fan of this double Neo Genesis blister. But then let me show you guys the vintage pack selection. Because I got plenty of time to do this here. EX Fire Red League of Green, EX Holon Phantoms, EX Deoxys, EX Team Rocket Returns. All the ones that have the best gold stars or the most popular gold stars i would say are here then let's take a look at the slabs we've got some first edition shadow lists some more there some more there are some uh some sky ridge cards not too familiar with e-series i'm not gonna lie but yeah some very nice sky ridge hollows here and most importantly we got that umbreon in a nine and then the best bit is obviously going to be... So let's take a look here at the big chase cards. We've got some Shinings, Gold Stars, Crystals. Got more. We've got the Regirock at 410. That's interesting because I do need that one. But like, so many Gold Stars, I can't even count. Alakazam, PSA 8. Flareon, PSA 7. Jolteon, 8 and 7. Vaporeon, 9. So yeah, a lot of, a lot of cool gold stars. So we just done another deal where I've traded this Erica SAR away for this. Um, sellers come down on this to 230, so I'm paying 160. And then I'm just picking up some more 151 singles. So yeah, another big deal closed. Okay, so let's take a look at some more of these slabs from Poke360. So we got the Espeon, which has gone down quite a lot. Typhlosion Prime, PSA 10, interesting. We got some nice Prime cards there. Prime Crobat. Yeah. We got some XY, PSA 10 slabs. 75 for 10 is actually pretty good. Looking at this, we got some XY 
SRs from Red Flash and Blue Shock, I believe. So really, really cool there. Let's look at the other one. Well, wow, some beastie XYPFA pens, man. Some really beastie ones, Alakazam. And also look at this one, Dragonite from Rising Fist. A really, really cool stall. All right, so we're here with KB Pokemon taking a look. Black and white full arts. Grade 7, got a Gemmin 10 gets us there, the Mewtwo, Giratina PSA 8, huge differential between the 8 and a 9. Registeel again, you will see in my latest returns, Deoxys PSA 9, then we got some Japanese stuff, but the coolest things here are the Raikou and Entei PSA 10s, plus the tag team all, which is pretty cool. Then moving up, we got a bit more. The teeny trophy got the alt art uh, Sableye and Tyranitar from Unified Minds, the Lake Trio from Diamond and Pearl, some ace labels. But biggest items here are these ponchos. So you got the Gyarados and Magikarp poncho set PSA 10, which are also sequential, and then you've got the PSA 9 Mega Charizard and another Magikarp and Team Skull. Alright, so we got another stall on the Discord. So we got some Russian Ancient Origins. It's better than Yep. Then we got some HS Undaunted, Dream League Tag Team, so all the best modern cards. Then we got the Lily Dream League box. Gold Star Groudon. Espeon VMAX Alt Art. So a great selection of cards here. Big Boy Charizard from Black and White. Let's keep looking. Uh, we got the Eevee Rainbow from Tag Team All Stars, which is cool. And some more Russian cards, which is really interesting. Sorry. We got some more things here. So we got a Dragon Frontiers PSA 9. Uh, Gym Heroes First Edition. The big boy there, which is the Mega Charizard X Poncho Box. Gold Star Kyogre. Some really high end singles just lying about there, which is interesting. Gengar EX, got Team Up Unified Minds, so some really good stuff. Then we got the Magikarp IR. The good stuff is towards that end. So PSA 10, Poncho Pikachu, X and Y variants, Gold Star Rayquaza PSA 8, Town on No Map Umbreon PSA 10. So some really cool stuff. So we got on fire trading cards here and something I've spotted already. Some nice modern stuff up here, but what I really wanted to show you guys is coming up very shortly. As we keep going down, you can see the Gold Star Gyarados here, but the Gold Star Umbreon PSA 5, it's what's really interesting. 2250 though, and then the Gold Star Charizard 5.5. If we move across a bit, you can see a lot of nice singles there. Crown Zenith, V-Star Universe. Some IRs from Pokemon 151. Some EX Ruby Sapphire, some more high-end stuff. So we got the Shining Gyarados PSA 7 and the Gold Star Kyogre PSA 5, Poncho PSA 5. In here with a lot of slabs so let's take a look some black and white PSA 10s new from Dragon Blast PSA 10 the Giratina as well really popular card Hyper Metal Chain Dialga 800 pounds 100 pounds for the Reggie Steel that's pretty good and then the Rayquaza UR then we got some ARS slabs from Japan Japanese grading company Gold Star Rayquaza of the Gyarados UR at 250, which is actually a really, really good price. <clears throat> Let's keep going. It's alright, it's alright. Then we got the Gengar. Gengar EX from Phantom Gate, full art. So this is obviously a big chase card in Phantom Force as well. And then some more cool stuff. We got some Pretend Boss Pikachu cards. Really cool hollow pattern on these, didn't realize. Lugia from Plasma Blast, I think. I can't remember. Lugia from Bandit Ring, 400 pounds. So some really high end mid era cards. We got the Charizard EX, uh, no, the Charizard Reverse Hollow from EX Battle Boost, which is probably going to be like Pop 20 or something. That's some more Pikachu cards, the 15th anniversary Pikachu. Really cool stuff from Hater TCD. And the, another cool bit here, the Mewtwo from Jump Festa, XY Jump Festa. Really, really cool stuff. 
So I got a half fight Pikachu 1400. Yeah, yeah. Glaceon V Mac PSA 10 special delivery Charizard. Raichu Raichu Alt. Shining Mewtwo from Neo Destiny 320 pounds. Good selection of slabs here. Then we got that Bubble Mew, which is obviously really hot at the moment. But no, it's a good set. I think. I think. So we're at the second part of the Pokemon stall. So starting off with some alt arts near the top, and then coming down, we have some more alt arts. We have the Mewtwo Rainbow from Shining Legends. Got the Gold Soul Galio from Ultra Prism, I believe. Pokemon Center Lady. And then Pikachu from the McDonald's E-Series booster packs. And then you can see the BGS 10s. This is really cool to see. A set of four ponchos. So obviously there's six. So it's missing the Rayquazas. But four ponchos here in BGS 10. All right, so we just did a massive purchase. The Umbreon Gold Star PSA 5, which I've been looking for for ages. So managed to do a deal with uh, on fire trading cards for 2100 so yeah thank you very much mate thank you cheers. man thanks Enjoy. very much cheers so guys we've just come back from the london card show and i couldn't wait to show you guys my pickups firstly this is something that i picked up for a friend the sylveon vmax alt art psa 10 in japanese just love the glitter and the texture even three years on it's just such a nice card look at that just beautiful so that's number one Number two in terms of the big pickups for me for the personal collection is this ADP PSA 10. Look at the way that texture is shining. It's just unbelievable. So again, a really, really nice card. But obviously, the main draw is the fact that I picked up my own Grail card. So as you guys might know, I'm collecting the gold stars in English. And this is one of the last few that I need. So really really hard to find for a good price and not many people are willing to let go of it so thanks again to on fire trading cards and pm1 tcg for selling me this card because i'll definitely be keeping it in my personal collection unless i manage to upgrade it someday which i'm not sure i'll be bothered so taking a look at the back it's obviously a little bit beat up but the main thing that sort of pushed me over the edge of buying it is that i didn't see any major creases so if you look, there's like a tiny, tiny crease or dent there, but there isn't anything major across the whole card. And the front itself was pretty clean. So all in all, that's why I bought this card. And I'm so happy because I don't need to chase it anymore. So there we have it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe if you did. And happy collecting.